What's up guys, I'm Alex, I'm co-founder and CEO of an international company called Teleporta. Our central office is in Dubai, you can see this beautiful buildings behind me. So what's about Teleporta? Teleporta works uh, in the field of B2B communication and we use a lot of artificial intelligence in our products. I'm sorry in advance because I'll be reading sometimes because I'm not the professional blogger, uh, I'm in Dublin now, but please enjoy. Also, I'm a member of community of tech entrepreneurs here in Dubai 2469. Here's the link. Please join us. We together every Friday, share ideas and so on. To develop the company, I had a task to work with a large company in the field of AI, computing power, etc. And fate brought us together with NVIDIA. Well, you definitely know the company, but let me tell you some more details, uh, which I know, and they are fantastic. NVIDIA specializes in the production of graphics processing units like GPUs and systems on chips. It offers a wide range of products and services including graphic processors, system on chips, software, cloud computing uh, and so on so on. The NVIDIA was founded in 1993, 30 years ago, by Jensen Huang, Chris Malachowski and Curtis Prim. I hope I'm right in pronouncing. Now I'll tell you some names. NVIDIA supplies companies for a wide range of companies across uh, various industries. In computer technology, NVIDIA provides its graphics processors uh, for laptops, workstations and companies such as Dell, HP, Lenovo, Asus. They worked with Apple also. In data centers, companies like Amazon, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud uh, use NVIDIA GPUs uh, in their data centers for data processing and machine learning. OpenAI company uses NVIDIA processors. By the way, the first AI computer uh, for OpenAI was made by NVIDIA and it contained 38,000 details or something like that. It's amazing. Automakers use NVIDIA technology such as Tesla, Audi, Mercedes-Benz and so on and so forth. Yeah. Gaming consoles such as Xbox previously used NVIDIA uh, chips. Oculus by Meta uses NVIDIA. HTC, Sony, then Professional video editors such as Adobe, Autodesk, even Pixar uses NVIDIA for their cartoons development. Also, currency miners use NVIDIA GPUs for Bitcoin, Ethereum mining and so on. Guys, it's, it's fantastic, right? This means that uh, this company is extremely powerful. Their year revenue is more than $40 billion per year, as I understand. And by the way, this company's valuation exceeded 1.8 trillion dollars okay i'm i'm a bit sweating so the company is extremely powerful and lucky investors who invested in nvidia in their early times also what what i want to add was tweeted that in last 10 years nvidia you can see it grows in price of a share and you can compare it to bitcoin amd tesla microsoft apple netflix amazon Facebook, Google, S&P 500, Gold, and so on. Yeah. It's crazy. In video, it is an extremely powerful company. And in our 2469 community, we have several companies that are part of NVIDIA Inception program. One founder then told me about cool features available there, such as get, getting computer power from NVIDIA and other big companies, which we use in Teleporta. We've made a small demo with our two companies showed to them and we were invited to a special event of NVIDIA and we attended in the event hosted by artificial intelligence and digital economy and remote work applications office by UAE led by His Excellency Omar Sultan Al Olama and alongside NVIDIA and its founder Jensen Huang. You heard me right, the founder uh, who created this amazing company came by himself and we were uh, invited to the event. I'll show you some videos from the event, it was amazing and it was held in Toda Theatre of Digital and Arts in Dubai, it's a very nice place and please watch this video. Today we are going to the event uh, with the CEO of NVIDIA. Jensen Huang. 
it's a really really raining day today i hope to see him personally also we will see Wei Xiao. she's a, a director of developer relations the weather is very nice for dubai look beautiful sorry Oh, 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 oh. So it looks like a souk. I can't believe this meeting will be here. Look, a real Arabian souk. Souk is called market. With all this stuff, very nice. Yeah, this. <laughs> it is everywhere. Hi, man. Movement into animation and direction into action. I am a healer, blurring the building blocks that make us unique, modeling new threats before they happen, searching for the cures to keep them at bay. I am a visionary, generating new medical miracles, giving us a new perspective on our sun to keep us safe here on Earth. I am a navigator. A unique moment in a sea of content. We're announcing the next generation. Epic setting for any story. I am a creator, building 3D experiences from snapshots and adding new levels of reality to our virtual selves. I am a helper, bringing brainstorms to life, sharing the wisdom of a million programmers, and turning ideas into virtual worlds. Built Northern Forest. I even helped write the script, breathe life into the words, and compose the melody. I am AI, brought to life by NVIDIA, deep learning, and brilliant minds. Our Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and tech shapers from around the globe, updates and technologies. Good evening. I must start by confessing it's been a very long day for Jensen first, and for me second. I think Jensen stayed up watching the Super Bowl yesterday. So excuse any mistakes we might make during the session. Uh, I'd like to start for Jensen by first asking you what's your impression? What have you felt being in the UAE for a day? How do you feel about the country and probably the talent that uh, is calling this country home? Energy, ambition, scope, cold. I thought this was the desert. Apparently, you see that the sky today. You did a very good job. Well, it's not typically this way, but we advertise well. We made sure the weather was to your liking. <laughs> You're very at home. <laughs> Jensen, let, let's start by really trying to understand what your vision is, not just for the company, I think you pressed that very well, but uh, I talking to you before this, you mentioned that you started by focusing on gaming. And that focus on gaming really created an advantage that NVIDIA had that made it an industry leader. Today you are the industry leader. For people who are here who are working on healthcare, who are working on self-driving cars, who are working on other industry-specific applications, what do you think NVIDIA is going to do for them? How is it going to change them? Terrific question. Uh, I'll answer it in two parts. Uh, first, why the choice of computer graphics and gaming was such a good idea? and a and, uh, risky idea, but good idea. And then secondarily, a uh, vision for the future. Uh, we wanted to start a company to pioneer a new way of doing computing called accelerated computing. We wanted to solve problems that normal computers cannot. We started the company in 1993. It was right in the middle, right in the early, right in the beginning, if you will, of the CPU revolution. Intel was just taking off. Microsoft Windows was just about to take off. Windows 95 changed everything. NVIDIA was starting in 1993. Silicon Valley was all about computing, general purpose computing, CPUs, and how all of that was gonna change technology. We felt that a lot of the world has already dedicated themselves to doing CPUs and general purpose computing. We could make a unique contribution to solve the problems, solve the problems that normal computers cannot. That strategy, as I described, the mission statement, as I described it, is a very difficult business strategy. And the reason for that is because if 
you're solving problems normal tools cannot solve, those problems also, those opportunities to you tend not to be uh, significant markets, they tend to be zero markets. If you don't have tools to create the market, why would there be a market? And so we went out to, to um, uh, pioneer this accelerated computing nonetheless, and we thought, what is the killer app? What's the application that will drive it? And, and uh, obviously that application must not exist, and it needed to be a very large market because in order to create a computing approach that is able to add value to the single largest technology force of all time, general purpose computing, CPUs, Moore's Law, in order to augment that, it must have tremendous R&D scale. It must have tremendous R&D dynamism. And, and so the question is, where do we find such a thing? And there lies the first great strategy of our company. And it's basically two ifs. If there was such a market as video games, and if 3D graphics was going to be the technology that made that possible, then everybody will be a gamer because video games could simulate anything. It could simulate any game. If you could if you enjoy soccer, it could be soccer. If you enjoy football, it could be football. If you enjoy whatever it is you enjoy, it could be that. And it would be, it would be a, a very large market and everybody would be in it. Now today, video games is the single largest entertainment medium in the world and just about everybody a fairly young person is a, is a video gamer. And so out of, out, of it, out of seven and a half billion people in the world, we're, we're up to two billion. Uh, we still have five and a half to go, but uh, I'm certain everybody will be a gamer. <laughs> and that strategy, of course, at the time was very dangerous and very risky because it, at the time, video games was zero billion dollars. 3D graphics for consumer computing was not possible. So we had to invent the technology, we had to invent the industry, and we had to invent people enjoying it. We've been advocating and evangelizing for video games for over 30 years to the point where people think we're a video game company. But it was really about enabling the first application of accelerated computing. Today, today it's, it's now completely clear that CPUs has run its course. General purpose computing has really reached its end. Uh, Thank you. I want to thank all of you for coming. I want to thank you for your partnership. And, and uh, Minister, is absolutely true. This region is relatively a small region by population, but you are a giant region by your influence. You know, and ambition. Exactly. And and, uh, and in a lot of ways, Nvidia is the same. We're a small company by population. We're a small company by employees, uh, but we're proud of the fact that we have large footprint and large impact based on the uh, based on the contributions that we make. And then that's all because of the people that are here. And I want to thank all of you for engaging artificial intelligence. I want, you, I want to thank all of you for being partners to our company. Thank you. In conclusion, I would like to thank His Excellency Omar Sultan al Alama and Jensen Huang for this session. We look forward to meeting you in the upcoming sessions at Inspired. The official part is over and we are starting a small networking here. So what else can I tell? You can visit Forbes.com, uh, Real Time Billionaires, and let's try to find let's try to find Jensen Huang. Boom! He's on the 22nd place with net force of 64.9 billion dollars. He's 60 years old, semiconductors here in the United States. So I can tell you that this man looks like a movie star. He looks good. By the way, I have some video where he's telling about how many years is he going to move the company forward. Let's just see. You are the longest running tech CEO. Is there any end in sight? Well, as you could tell, I'm sprightly and, and uh, <laughs> quite enthusiastic and energetic yet. Um, I, I, I'm surrounded by amazing people. They uh, keep me inspired and uh, I feel that we could do great things together. And they give me so much confidence in the, what we can do and the impact we can make. And uh, I, I feel that I'm, I'm making a real contribution to the company and to them and uh, to, create a, to create an environment where we can make you know, really amazing contributions. And so, so I, I think this is for so long as I, I believe I could do that. And, um, uh, I don't know exactly how that, how long that's going to be, but 
three or four decades, I would say. You know, in another four decades, I'll be robotic, and you know, maybe another three or four decades after that. And so, hopefully, hopefully, I'll get to enjoy this for a very long time. So, it's crazy. I also want to live more than 100 years. Please take me on board. <laughs> really. By the way, there there was a, an awesome question, and Jensen Huang was asked. What is the most part of his life he's proud of? And he told that he's proud of his family. And that they have uh, family chats where, where they had send photos uh, and so on. And uh, he's with his wife from their 17 years old. It's crazy. And it admires me. And it's fine because I'm also a family guy. And then after, after the event was over, he stayed and a lot of people could talk to him personally. A lot of people could ask questions and tell about this pro their projects. And Hi, man. How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> You are to advance the oh, future. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Um, first of all, how many people really understand biology? Well, it's very hard to understand biology, but now you're going to have an AI teacher to teach you. So then we have to move to project-based learning. To but then what's the value of right. higher education if the, if the a chat GPT is Somebody in your still, hand. there are all bunch of things, there's still a bunch of things in the world that we don't understand the concept. I use, I use, I use perplexity because I really like perplexity uh, literally every single day. I used it today. Whenever I have questions, whenever I have things that I want to learn, yeah. I just ask those questions of perplexity and I can ask the next question, the next question, and then sometimes I'm not sure what questions to ask. It offers four or five questions for me to ask. Correct. What a wonderful way to learn. Everybody should, every student should have teacher assistants next to them to accelerate their learning. Exactly, you're going to build a digital twin of VM and then build VM. You'll be meeting with my big Okay. know that we are in it Oh, that's awesome. Good for you. Yeah, good. I'm very grateful uh, for this event. I extend my sincere gratitude to Jensen Huang that he found time and energy to talk to us personally and to listen to our business ideas and what we are doing and so on. I also want to thank him and his team for this uh, incredible inception program. I also want to thank Digital Economy Applications Office of UAE and Omar Sultan Al Olama. Yeah, for organizing such impactful events and that drive the region forward in the technology landscape. Additional thanks to Dan, founder of the Docs, also Wei Xiao, director of developer relations and video inception program. It was a pleasure to see our guys from 2469, Jamil, Prakash, Ayman. Guys, thank you. Jamil is the founder of 2469 and also advisor for company Teleporta, which I'm very proud of. And what I want to tell is, please join the community. And if you wish, join Inception and Video program. Maybe it will give you also a lot of opportunities. It was Alex with you and hope you enjoyed this video. That's it. It was Alex with you. Bye-bye.